Good morning, third grade students. Hope you had a nice night. Um, we're going to continue on with our mid-module assessment. We're turning to page three. It's okay if you didn't finish pages one and two yesterday. You'll, you'll do that today. So number three, we're going to annotate first, and then you're going to finish the test today before uh, we go to PE. You're going to turn it in. Ms. Park buys a tray of apples for a class party. There are five rows of four red apples. Let's circle five rows and four red apples. There is one row, and we're going to circle one row and the number four green apples. It says, the picture below shows Ms. Park's apples. We need to fill in the blanks to complete the expression. Remember the distributive property, all right? We're going to continue on. So pause if you need to to finish this. Don't do this yet. We're going to go to B now. It says, fill in the unknowns in the equation below to match the picture of the apples in part A. Part A is up here, right? Use the break apart and distribute strategy to find the total number of apples Ms. Park brought. So remember this, something times four equals something times four plus something times four, and Ms. Park bought how many apples? Let's continue on. Lily brings eight green apples for the class party. Excuse me. <laughs> Show Lily's green apples on the picture in part A. Then fill in the unknowns in the equation below to match the new picture. Solve to find the total number of apples. Okay? So Lily brings eight green apples for the class party, all right? We're going to show, and I'm going to circle show, Lily's green apples on the picture in part A. So we're going to have to do some drawing up here, right? Isn't that what, think about this. Lily is bringing more green apples to the class party. So we're going to have to show that, aren't we? And we're going to show that by drawing. Got that? By drawing. And uh, an array. So, think about this, how you're going to go about doing this. You're going to need to label something right under here. Right around here, you're going to have to label, whoops, let's go back to A, Lily's apples. You're going to have to draw Lily's apples right around here, okay? Practically giving you the answer. All right, we're going to continue on with this and remember to fill this part in. There are blank apples and all. All right, let's continue. Okay, Mrs. Meyer's class plays a game. We know that. The class earns five points each time they answer a question correctly. Five points. The class earns 50 points playing the game on Monday. So they earn five points per correct answer, okay? So our question is, how many questions did the class answer correctly? Show a picture and a division sentence in your work, okay? So let's, I'm going to help you out with the picture. And you're going to have to put a number there and a number in this box. Then you're going to have to go Blank divided by blank equals blank. And we'll say the class answered blank questions, running out of room, correctly. Okay, that's setting it up for you, all right? Now let's go to B. Pause this if you need to look at it, all right? Number five, B, four B. Miss Myers uses the equation five times blank equals 50 to find how many questions the, answer, the class answered correctly. Is his method correct? Why or why not? Okay, so we're going to do, a, um, once again, a little bit of writing, and you're going to have to fill in the blanks with something from the word box, okay? So here, we, word bank. We'll start over here. Yes. 
comma, his method is correct. Period. I solved using blank but he solved using blank okay we're going to put that and here's our word bank division and multiplication. That's our word bank. We're going to use those to fill in the blanks, okay? Let's continue on. Pause if need be. The class answered seven questions correctly on Tuesday. What is the total number of points the class earned on both days? So on the day that they got 50 points and on this day when they got seven questions correctly. So remember they get five points for each correct question. We're going to put a question mark here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to need to put numbers in here and do a multiplication sentence. Blank times blank equals blank. Remember seven questions and they get five points per question. Then we're going to use a tape diagram to show that they got on the on um, the first day on Monday they got 50 points. Oh, I'm not going to tell you that. I kind of blew it. Hopefully you got that. We're going to put this shows Monday and Tuesday. I'll put Mun and two from Monday and Tuesday. So we need to figure out how many total points they got together. Remember two-step problems here? The class earned blank points for both days. Don't give up. Keep rereading the questions. Don't say, I can't do it. You just can't do it yet. You need to keep rereading the questions, okay? So this is due when we go to PE, all right? Good luck on the, the, mid the end of module assessment. I know you can do it.